This is the 10th of August of 2020, and I'm bringing to you Divine Restraining Order Prayers. All right, the name of this prayer is Divine Restraining Order Over Your Life. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask for your protection over my eyes, over my speech, and when your word goes out. I ask for your protection over all of our families that are watching, over everyone that is watching. Guard their ears, guard their eyes, guard their heart. Father, guard their families. Your word says if there was, uh, if you did not cut those days short, then no flesh would be saved. Father, we're speedily running to the catching away, the rapture, a harponzo, whatever people want to say, the missing, and however people's going to describe it, that's up to them. But Father, I thank you for your promises. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your love and your patience. Give every one of us a desire to seek more of you stay more in your presence forgive me and forgive those that i'm praying for rather and that says that and those that are watching me of not putting you first of not seeking and waiting in your presence and not waiting on you to come oh holy spirit we need you father magnify yourself manifest yourself Make us strong in your word and strong in your glory. Give us encouragement, Father, and in boldness and empower us to go forward, spread your word, and teach others about who you are. In Jesus' name. Father, I ask you uh, once again to touch my eyes and my speech. And I ask you to touch this video that it uploads with no hiccups, no problems. And I ask you to let it go out to who needs to see it and to keep it quiet outside and cool and quiet inside in the name of Jesus Christ now uh, these prayers come from Dr. Francis Miles M-Y-L-E-S and it, it's uh, from the book Issuing Divine Restraining Orders from the Courts of Heaven Restricting and Revoking the Plans of the Enemy God is so good thank you Father thank you to everyone that has been praying for me and praying for my eyesight. Please pray that my that I'm taking off these steroids real fast. Because you know what they do to bodies. They load them and they make them gain weight. And uh, we're going to pray against those symptoms. And we're going to pray that I'm healed. That I'm not having to take those medicines anymore. And those drop, eye drops anymore. Um, two Mondays past I had eye surgery. Most of you know this by now and to put a stint in my eye to reduce the eye pressure and i had a the praise report is awesome i was sitting in the doctor's office the eye doctor's office and he looking at it second time he looked you know he had been looking at my eye after surgery and and he said it's five and i said what was it and he said 38 before, right before surgery and i said hallelujah praise you jesus and then i like stunned myself because, <laughs> and everybody just stopped. It was like dead silence. And I say, thank you, Jesus. So then he goes and does what he has to do and tells me what drops to take and all this. And he's going out the door and I say, I, he said something. I don't know if he said have a good day or something like that. And I said, well, God bless you. And he stopped in his tracks. It was a few seconds. He stopped in his tracks and turned back and looked at me and said, thank you. Now I've said, God bless you before. And he's either said, thank you nonchalantly and walked on or ignored me. But this time he stopped in his tracks and looked at me and said, thank you. That's only the power of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I'll get on to saying the prayer. The name of this prayer is divine restraining order over your life. Heavenly Father, I stand in your royal courtroom because of the blood and finished work of Jesus on the cross. I have come to receive your righteous judgment over my life 
Heavenly Father, I ask that the courts of heaven be seated according to Daniel chapter 7, verse 10. I ask this in Jesus' mighty name. Heavenly Father, I call upon your holy angels to be witnesses of this legal and righteous transaction. I also decree and declare that all the demonic entities, um, institutions, and human beings who will be impacted directly by the divine uh, restraining order I am requesting be duly notified by your holy angels who service the courts of heaven. In Jesus' name I pray. Heavenly Father, I decree and declare that every demonic entity, earthly institution, and human being will respect, honor, and abide in your righteous judgment. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I repent for any and everything that would stop my destiny from becoming a reality. Heavenly Father, even as I stand in the court, I present myself as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable before you, according to Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Lord, I repent before you for any place of sin concerning wrong motives, wrong intentions, or any place where I have not guarded my heart. Lord Jesus, wash me with your blood so Satan has no legal footing to resist any divine restraining order I need from your Supreme Court. Heavenly Father, your word says that Jesus is my faithful advocate before the righteous judge in the courts of heaven. Um, Lord Jesus Christ, I summon you as my advocate to help me plead my case before the righteous judge for a divine restraining order over my life that will govern my God-given destiny. Lord, it is not your will for me to do whatever I want, when I want. In Jesus' name, Heavenly Father, I present before you the following scriptures as evidence why you should show me the divine restraining order that you have placed over my life to govern and order it. It is written, and Jesus answered and said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself but what he sees the Father do. For whatever he does, the Son does as he also does in like manner. That's John chapter 5, verse 19. Father, it is Father, it, it is your will. Take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. That's Luke chapter 22, verse 42. Heavenly Father, based upon the aforementioned scriptures, it is clear that if the court does not Im impose a divine restraining order over my life to govern and order it, the devil will cause great injury to my life, destiny, and inflict irreparable damage to the purposes of God by causing me to do my will instead of God's will. Heavenly Father, I repent for violating any divine restraining order you had previously placed upon my life. I ask that every legal right the devil has over my life be revoked in Jesus' glorious name. Heavenly Father, I also repent for all covenants with demons that have existed in my ancestral bloodline. Lord, I ask that any agreement with demons would be rescinded. Lord, any demonic uh, right to claim me and my bloodline is now dismissed before your courts in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for revoking these demonic covenants and altars in Jesus' mighty name. Heavenly Father, I divorce myself uh, from an independent spirit that is not submitted to God. I give back everything that the, the devil, demons, and demonic altars would say came from them. I only want what the blood of Jesus secured for me. Heavenly Father, I now ask that a divine restraining order be imposed on my life by your Supreme Court. In Jesus' name I pray. Heavenly Father, I decree that any de independent spirit over my life is now broken in Jesus' name. Uh, Heavenly Father, I receive this divine restraining order by faith. In Jesus' name I declare and decree 
that you shall fulfill all the days of my life that you wrote in my book of destiny long before you created me in Jesus name amen amen thank you father amen hallelujah oh yeah and this book here uh, I seen dr. miles on um, Sid Roth but you can also get it on Amazon the book rather you get on the book on Amazon and on Sid Roth hallelujah 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 